Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, we are going to have fun um, talking about energy and alignment. I'm sorry I'm looking at my phone because I want to be reading Sandra's bio. Uh, Sandra and I uh, are together in, in multiple programs. <laughs> we, we, we got to know each other first through the On Purpose uh, Global uh, Women's Network. Uh, where we've been members for some time. And then I was in uh, Suzanne Evans's program and uh, Sandra came in there. We are in Wired to Win together. We are in Speakers Need to Speak together. <laughs> we are in Icon Maker together. So it's like we can't get enough of uh, each other. Um, but let me just tell you what she does. I'm going to read it out uh, because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, she's a friend, which clearly we already established. Um, she is an, an extraordinary intuitive healer who empowers women healers and coaches. She combines intuition, sound healing, and energy work to help clients align with their values, attract ideal clients, and contribute to evolution. What more do you need in a coach? <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so Sandra, um, tell us a little bit more about how you actually work with all of these different modalities. And um, maybe I'll even ask you to do a little demonstration on me. Let's see how this goes. We will just go with the flow and what yeah. comes up. Thank you, Sri. So let's talk about what I think of energy alignment as being, because the presence or the absence of energy alignment really is the key to anything working. So as a, a body worker, massage therapist forever, I am working with the flow of energy through the body. So imagine down on the earth, the energy comes up through my feet, through my legs, out the top of my head. Mm -hmm. And that's what supports my body and working well. It supports my brain in working well. If I want my arm to work, my hand to work, the energy needs to flow through. Does that make sense, Sri? Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah. Anything that stops the flow of that energy is going to stop the function, stop the flow. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was walking through my house and I jammed my toe into a box. Yeah. And if anybody has ever done that and broken their toe, it's not very comfortable. And what happens when you stub your toe, whether it's broken or just like bumped it, it's like you're limping. Yeah. Because you can't stand on it properly. Mm -hmm. Part of it is that the energy is stuck. The energy in that foot is like, yeah. instead of flowing through, it's chaotic and it's blocked. And clearly that impacts my ability to walk and to function. Mm -hmm. There's a cabinet door in my kitchen. One time I stood up underneath the cabinet door and hit my head yeah. really hard. Didn't make me fall over, but it hit me really hard. And my ability to think clearly affected. was also affected. So it's obvious when there's physical things like that, that yeah. mess up the energy flow. As I'm doing energy work with somebody, their energy is flowing through their body nice and easily. And then a question comes up that they're confused or afraid, or they don't know, or they're anxious. And instantly the energy goes from flowing to, yeah. Chaotic. And I was really surprised the first time I saw that, that the impact of my thoughts and my feelings is so immediate. Yeah. It's like a light switch flipping off my ability to function. Thinking about all of the times in my business, needing to do marketing, needing to do business and I get in this place of, I don't know how to do this. I don't want to do that. Ah, get me out of here. I don't know if you've ever been like that, Sri. Well, yeah. But I know I certainly have. <laughs> yes. 
And when I realize that every time I'm in that chaotic, negative, I don't know, fear, anger, upset, afraid of doing things wrong place, my energy is stuck. Yeah. Every single time. You know, uh, one of the things I'm actually working on a a course. So, so there there is a similarity in what what we do, right? Because I've I've helped entrepreneurs move their blocks towards raising prices, towards selling. And one of the things that I realized is that when I was taking someone through uh, an a simulated exercise of let's increase your price to thirty thousand dollars right for a course and she said to me that her entire back froze up yes she just thought about it right and we in in this field of manifestation business coaching and you know there's a lot of talk about just fake it till you make it but honestly that doesn't work because your physiology is not aligning with what you want to do so if you want to actually manifest that, which is what you're helping clients to do, you have to remove that physiological barrier that that you feel in order to become physically the person who can actually welcome, in that particular case, the $30,000 program. And unless you are comfortable in your body doing it, you won't be able to sell it to anyone. Exactly. Yeah, that is the point. That is what I'm talking about for my whole masterclass on Friday, awesome. helping people understand the impact of what is going on over here. Yeah. And, you know, we're in a m- bunch of programs mm-hmm. and they say, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need yeah. to do this to be successful. If I have resistance or fear, around those things, I am going to stop myself. Yes. I am not going to be successful in moving forward. Now, that is not to say that I won't be. Yeah. It just means that there's healing that I need to do to get myself through these stages. Yes. So that I do feel able to do these things. Now, in some cases, there are strategies, business strategies, they really don't work for me. And I'm not going to continue trying to make myself do them. So for example, um, last year, I was in a program to um, make a Facebook business page Mm. work well and productively for my business. The truth was that class just didn't do it for me. And I didn't try to get myself to actually do that. I decided not for me. Yeah. in that case. But there's another area where I have had a lot of struggles. It's around making phone calls. Mm. Fear of bothering people. Yeah. I don't want to bother them. They're, they're yeah. not going to like me. All of these those conversations. And it used to completely debilitate me and keep me from making phone calls. This is an area where I have done so much healing, layers and layers and layers and layers of healing, so that now I actually do make phone calls and I enjoy them. Awesome. And I see it as an opportunity for me to serve this person and to connect with this person. So when I say, you know, we don't want to market from strategy. You want to market yeah. from purpose because that's what I'm yeah. talking about in the masterclass. Yeah. It's like, it's not to say that these strategies are never going to be on my list, but that getting to the point of having my energy be able to flow with that area is going to take some healing, take some processing, some time. Okay. So so tell us more about your masterclass. When is it? Uh, where we can people access it? Yes. So my masterclass is this Friday, August 9th, and it's on Zoom okay. from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. And and we'll, we'll be posting a link uh, uh, below this um, video so that you can all access it. 
And uh, just talk a little bit, um, um, Sandra, about you have this process that you call MAP, yes. which is make anything possible, which sounds so attractive. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? And and so you use MAP and then you also use um, biofield tuning. Yes. So just, just so that people get a taste of what they can uh, experience in the masterclass, can you just go through those two processes? Yes. So it's a free masterclass and um, it's called Energy Alignment, Healing Tools for Shining Your Truth Through Your Business. Beautiful. So it's like taking us out of this, have to do this from strategy piece to what's in alignment with who I am and how do I want to market my business? Because I still need to market my business. Yeah. And yes, during the masterclass, I am also going to do like a healing demonstration where the people who are participating are going yeah. to contribute to what I, what I focus on. Okay. So make anything possible is a method that works with the part of you that knows everything, mm -hmm. knows what you need, knows what happened in the past that needs to be healed, knows what's contributing to what. And so we just say super conscious, heal this. Mm. And I use a tuning fork. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah. I have been doing energy modalities for 37 years, for a long time. I've been a massage therapist forever. And I really wasn't doing the healing modalities that I've learned because I didn't really feel like they were producing the results mm. that I wanted. You know, as a massage therapist, when somebody gets off the table, they feel different. Yeah. Clearly something has changed. And when I would do energy work, yeah, people might be a little bit relaxed, but I didn't feel like the results that I got would last. Mm. From the beginning of my experience with the Make Anything Possible method, it was clear to me that things were changing. Yeah. Memories that I have been working on from my childhood for 30 years, the memory changed like that. Yeah. Listening yeah. to a recorded session memory changed. Then I had the demonstration session with, with the founder and a memory changed. And then I had a session with a, you know, a practitioner memory changed. It's like, this really works. <laughs> so even though I've only been doing map, make anything possible method since, you know, I found it in August. Um, it's now the main body of the work that I do and I enhance it with the tuning forks, the Bafa tuning, and with intuition. Mm. So let's do a little demonstration now here with Shri. Sure, sure. So what issue would you like to work on? Um, attracting more clients who have the money to pay. <laughs> okay, good issue. So um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do a little bit of map. So I'm pulling okay. up my protocol manual because that's what we do, okay. we have these, these protocol manuals. So when you think of needing to attract clients and the whole experience of how that goes, what emotion comes up? How do you feel? It's more anxiety, uh, worry. Will I actually be able to do this? Can I actually be, so I know I'm really, really good at what I do and mm -hmm. I really move people. Um, but recently there have been several who said, oh, I know you can do wonders for me, but I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. you know? So so it's just, it seems as if, and the, the truth is, I'm talk, probably talking more than you want me to. The truth is I do this free for a lot of people. Uh, and and just because I want to see them move, um, but uh, I'm at a point in the business where I can't afford to do this free. <laughs> I really need to get into a, an energy system where I'm attracting people who need this and who are willing to pay for it. That's yes. Yes. So let's look at this from the perspective of unaligned intentions. Okay. Okay. So you can see that there's one intention. I just want to help people. 
Yes. And then there's another intention, but I have to make money at this. Yes. And, you know, there are these, all these different levels. Okay. So think about having this unaligned intention. And I'm going to say right now, it's mostly with yourself. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So focus on the feeling of having this unaligned intention, this conflict. And explore all the sensations, thoughts, feelings, and emotions that arise, including any fear of what might happen if somebody were to find out that you feel this way. And imagine you're gathering up in front of you all of the thoughts, the memories, everything that comes up around this. Gather it into a pool in front of you. And let me know when you're ready to heal it. Can I add something? There's also mm -hmm. the fear of what will happen if my husband finds out that I've been doing this free for people. You yes. Know, there is that fear as well. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. So in include all of that. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay. So we're going to work with your super conscious, the part of you that knows everything. Okay. Yeah. So super conscious, please treat all the memories associated to and with this experience. Feels really intense. And it feels like um, I am feeling this partly in my adrenal glands so this is stressful yeah and there may be like a history of of stress yeah with this and then i also feel it um behind your heart mm -hmm. so you know thinking about this whole kind of thing this gentle t balance yeah. between you and your husband around this Okay, yeah. so super conscious, please treat all these memories associated to and with this experience. As often often happens, when I vocalize what come what comes up, it helps it to shift. Yes. So that feels a little more a little more settled Late. Yeah. than it did a minute ago. So super conscious, please treat this. and do a massive change history and everything. So this is working on everything that's happened in your whole life okay. associated with this, as well as what you've inherited from your parents and your grandparents. And, you know, looking at culturally, there are some expectations yeah. that may be feeding into this too. So super conscious, please treat that. feel like it's a little bit more grounded yeah 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 so that's a mini map demonstration <laughs> thank you so much you're welcome <laughs> i will report back to you and definitely um you know come on come on online and and provide a testimonial yes that's what happens next yeah thank you thank you so much i will be there at the master class um and i'm really really looking forward to it um, I just want to end with this. Um, you talked about superconscious. One of the things that, you know, a lot of religions, but specifically Hinduism talks about is that we are all expressions of God, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, we have, I used to tell my children that there is a piece of Krishna in you. So don't let anyone make you feel that you're less than, than that. But it's so difficult to keep up that to keep that belief in ourselves. When, mm. when life comes at us, we allow external forces and our own internal sense of not being good enough to mask that divinity. And what you're helping to do by calling on the superconscious is to help people both realize and access that, that power. So it's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Thank you, Sri. Thank you. So everybody, sign up for the Masterclass, yes. Energy Alignment, Healing Tools for Shining Your Truth Through Your Business. 
Friday at 10 to 11 Pacific on Zoom. Yeah. August 9th is my daughter's birthday. So <laughs> it's a good it's a day. Good, it's a good day. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. God bless. Thanks, everyone, for joining. <laughs>